The following video demonstrates the recommended method of injector preparation and loading for Invista Intraocular Lens MX60. Following these instructions will minimize loading errors and provide the user with the best possible outcome. First, open the injector blister tray and transfer the sterile injector onto the sterile field. Hold the injector in such a manner that the movable and fixed cartridge wings of the loading chamber can be guided with the index finger and thumb. Then open the loading chamber. Entering from the loading chamber side, apply Ambisc Plus or other Bausch & Lomb viscoelastic directly into the conical tip, and then apply two thin lines into the lateral grooves within the loading chamber. Now advance the plunger tip to the outer edge of the cartridge wings as shown. Open the vial containing the IOL and using non-serrated forceps, remove the lens by grasping and carefully pulling it out vertically from the center slot at the top portion of the vial. Rinse the entire lens with sterile balanced salt solution or sterile normal saline solution. Position the lens in the middle of the loading chamber so that the anterior side is up and the lens is in a reverse S orientation. Apply a slight downward pressure with the forceps to push the lens and haptics down and ensure they are properly seated under the grooves. Slightly close the cartridge wings to hold the lens in place and then advance the plunger such that the haptics are compressed as shown. The compression is correct when the haptic is pointing toward but not touching the optic. Next, close the cartridge wings together until the click lock mechanism engages and then push the lens into the conical tip by advancing the plunger until the spring just contacts the outer edge of the cartridge wings. Now pull the plunger back sufficiently to visually confirm that the lens remains in the conical tip and then push forward again. This step also ensures that the trailing haptic is not trapped under the plunger tip. The lens is now loaded and ready for injection. With the conical tip bevel facing down, inject the lens by applying continuous pressure on the plunger until the lens is fully expressed from the tip. Clockwise injector rotation will compensate for any lens rotation. The following troubleshooting tips provide additional information to guide you through the lens loading process. When closing the cartridge wings, note that if the cartridge is closed too far, the leading haptic may be pushed into the tunnel. This shows the correct method of only slightly closing the cartridge wing prior to lens compression. If the lens pops up during plunger advancement, reposition the lens and ensure that the optic and both haptics are properly seated under the grooves. Avoid extending the plunger tip past the cartridge tip in order to prevent mushrooming. If you notice that the leading haptic is straight as the lens is advancing in the tip, then the lens is not correctly positioned. We hope that this video provides a useful overview of the Invista injector loading technique. If you have any questions, please ask your Bausch & Lomb representative for additional assistance or contact the Bausch & Lomb Customer Service Department. Local service phone numbers can be found at Bausch.com.